Now, President of the Caribbean Football Union, Randolph Randy Harris, says he is not concerned by the lack of football in the region caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. As Simon Preston reports, it's now been two international windows where no Caribbean team has been active. It's the international break and football is being played in Europe, Asia, South America, Central America and the Oceania region. But President of the Caribbean Football Union, Randy Harris, doesn't think it's time as yet to host football in the region. I don't think we have the wherewithal to really organize um, games in the same way that Europe, Asia and even Africa have in terms of having the means. And uh, I think it is better to play it safe than be sorry. The Caribbean made huge strides in the region last year as eight of the 16 representatives at the Gold Cup were from the Caribbean. In addition, two Caribbean teams reached the semi-finals of the Gold Cup for the first time in history. Harris feels the gap has been narrowed between the Caribbean and North and Central America and he doesn't foresee this period without games affecting the region. We, I think we are catching up. We are understanding the importance of having proper coaches dealing with our, our players. And of course, we have that trump card where many of our players have immigrated and are playing professional football in Europe and elsewhere and have been able to um, enhance the quality of football that we play at the uh, national level in the Caribbean. TVJ Sports football analyst O'Neill, 1878 Meredith, is concerned about Jamaica slipping in the FIFA rankings if they continue to be inactive. Jamaica, who are 48th in the world, would need to stay in the top 50 so more players can get opportunities to secure work permits in Europe. You wouldn't want to at least like the prospects of the upcoming ones that we expect to go over. So I think it's crucial for us now uh, to get some games. And we have seen Scotland, they are what, 49 or in the world, and they are playing some football. So it's going to be important for us to at least to stay to that top 50 to create that remuneration that I think our players deserve. While international football remains up in the air, Waterhouse are due to host a CONCACAF League match on November 5. But CONCACAF's senior executive Howard McIntosh says the decision for that encounter and its location is with the government. The government, and in particular the Ministry of Health, along with the Ministry of Sports, will have the final say in exactly what uh, happens and exactly what transpires in terms of the protocols. But I know what is being considered is some type of biosecure bubble for the period. The next FIFA window commences on November 9. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports.